Hey guys, so basically I kind of uh, just wanted to do like a little video like as short as I can because I kind of touched on like in my last YouTube video talking about like body empowerment and that the fact that I am probably like one of the few in the industry that maybe isn't doesn't look the same as everyone else and is kind of head to toe in tattoos, piercings, doesn't have like the porn star body type and like that like Sean Cody kind of Bellamy image uh, but essentially I'm very very happy within myself and I've always uh, been very very confident in myself and I've always put that through my modeling, my porn and every other job aspect I kind of have but I kind of had a lot of feedback from that um, all very positive feedback and it was all people saying that they were very very like thankful for what I had said, and I kind of just wanted to touch on it a little bit. Um, there were so many of you that kind of spoke to me about, like, yourselves and how you feel about yourselves and what you see in the media, in the industries. And what I kind of want to say to you guys is, like, for real, and I'm, like, I'm not even, like, being stupid. I've done this a few times. I want you to, go, like, go home. And I want you to go and look in the mirror tonight and just be stripped down to your underwear or even naked, depends how crazy you want to get. And I just kind of want you to look yourself up and down for five, maybe ten seconds. And at the end of it, I just kind of want you to take a really big, deep breath out and just say to yourself that you're beautiful. Because I feel like especially in the young generation at the moment, and even in the older generation, in the LGBT community, and in the straight community, there is so much negativity, and uh, so much, like, social media influence telling us that we should all look a certain way, and act and behave certain ways. Um, like, I've seen people post pictures of themselves, and there have been no more than like a size 8, size 10, and they've been ripped on Facebook for wearing, uh, just like, this this young girl was wearing just her bra and her underwear and just said, love your skin. And that was it. And I was just so upset by the amount of negative feedback that this girl got. And all I can say to you guys is that you are amazing and beautiful, incredible people. And you should not be letting anything you see on social media influence how you feel about yourself unless it's positive. All I can say to you guys is I work in two or three different industries where a lot of it is to do with face and body value and I I've, I've been told numerous times that I don't deserve to be a model, I don't deserve to be in porn, I'm not good enough for both industries uh, because of the way I look and the fact that I have so many tattoos and so many piercings and the fact that I do not have this chiseled body and maybe I am a little bit overweight, maybe I'm not, it doesn't matter. But I set out to show people that it didn't matter what you look like, that you could just be good at what you do and be amazing at it or just at a level where you know that you're going to be successful or be good be good at it and just flourish and take off. I have been literally told my, for the past 11 years of modelling now and in porn for two almost that I'm never going to do well and I'm never going to be someone that people are going to look at and it just goes to show that the proof is in the pudding that after 12 years of doing one of them in particular and two years of doing another that I can do this because I set out with confidence and a kind of, not narcissistic, but a love for myself in how I feel about myself, because I could let things like the comments online bug me and upset me and offend me, but they don't. And I could look at the things people say about my scenes or my images, but I'm not gonna, because at the end of the day, there's trolls anywhere of anything that you do, and you're going to have it all your life. And a lot of things come from different things, whether it be jealousy, maybe it's from hatred, maybe it's from insecurities in themselves. But you should never let anyone or any word that they say pull you down. And 
I just want you guys to know that you're all amazing, no matter what shape or body type, type you are. Just be happy with who you are. And if there are people in your life that are making you feel bad about yourself, then they should not be in your life. Because essentially, all you need in your life is positive energy and positive vibes. And if you're not getting that, and there's something bringing you down, then you need to address it and attack it head on and fix that problem. Because you don't realise just how much some... And other people don't realise just how much a few little words or comments, like online or to a person, can really affect them and damage them. So, and I would never want any of that for any of you, so I just want you guys to just be happy in your skin and love who you are. I've been told time and time again that I'm never going to do anything that's going to amount to anything the way I am. And I've had so many companies and agencies and things tell me that if I looked like this I would get the job or if I looked like that I would end up, end up on this and this magazine and that clothing company and you know what's really funny is I've worked for every single fucking one that they told me I couldn't because I went out there and I showed everyone that I could bring my fucking game and that I had what it took where, and even if I wasn't what they were looking for I could show them something different that is just as good and that's all you ever have to do with your lives as well. Just be happy in yourself and it will show to other people and you'll find that any, the things that you really want to do in life will just be that much easier within re your reach. Um, I'm probably sound like I'm preaching right now but it really like af upsets me and it affects me when I see that so many of you are m upset by some of the things that people say to you and then someone asked me if I would kind of talk about how I deal with people that troll and give me horrible comments. Honestly, on things like my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, and Facebook and things like that, I don't really get it. Um, in any porn company though, if you look at any porn star and on their scenes, we do get the comments from people that don't like our scenes and are there to look at other models and they don't really want to look at you, but for some reason they still click on you and write horrible comments but hey what people want to do behind anonymous comment boards is their business but I just feel like people don't need to keep putting people down like that and I don't want any of that energy around me so I don't look at it like I never watch any of my scenes for that reason just in case there is anything on there or even if there isn't I just would rather not take that risk because I want to surround myself in positive energy um, and the same goes for you guys, if there's anyone on your social medias or anything, or in your lives that puts you down, take them out. Um, just be happy with who you are, and just please go home and just take a good look at yourself and just realise that you are beautiful in yourself, no matter what you look like. We all come from different shapes and sizes, and we are all snowflakes that were born differently, and we should be appreciated like that. Um, if you can tell one other person that today, then I've done something amazing by doing this video. But, yeah. What else can I say? Um, dress funny. Do funny shit. Act like a geek or a loser or do whatever you want to do. Just act like a child. I do. All the time. Um, Jesus Christ, I'm wearing two friggin' waxes right now. The feathers from my ears. Um, like... Whatever, and I'm wearing a giant cock heart on my chest. And FYI, this is an ama amazing clothing line, cock heart. <laughs> Cockheart.com, go check them out. But, I mean, I don't even edit any of my videos, really, on YouTube, just because it's not real, and I want people to see the real version of me. And I express that in different ways, and hopefully you guys do too. And I'm rambling on. But... You know what I'm trying to say to you guys. You're all amazing and you're all special. So just be happy. God damn it. <clears throat> and I'm going back on tour soon, which is fun. I can't say where yet. And then I'm going to start my album tour in January. And I hope to see all of you there. So it'll be fun. Anyway, I love you guys. And I have the best fans ever. And you're all awesome. Thank you.